How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the brand new 2020 Huawei MateBook 14. Let's check it out. The 2020 Huawei MateBook 14 is a refined piece of engineering, taking all that we loved about the outgoing version and what we love about the Huawei MateBook series to the next level. It's still a beautiful machine, offers a great display, rocking the latest Ryzen 4000H series processor for a smooth experience. And of course, those Huawei ecosystem features that we are now used to uh, seeing with things like Huawei Share. Embedded fingerprint sensor in the power button is there as well, and a discreet and privacy webcam, so that recess camera is still there, plus more. Let's start with the design. For the design, you will notice a sandblasted finish on its metal body, weighing just 1.49 kilograms, and it's just 15.9 millimeters thick, making it super portable to take anywhere your creativity takes you. With a 14 inch size, it fits perfectly and easily in, a, in my backpack, whether it's that I'm carrying it in my big camera bag or just using my smaller backpack for lighter travel, it fits perfectly well. Its chamfered edges are also premium and now easily synonymous with Huawei. In fact, I asked on Twitter and people guessed straight away what laptop it was based on, the, on just the chamfered edges. The 2020 MateBook 14 doesn't just excel when it comes to the exterior. Opening it up, you have a 2K Huawei full view display at 185 PPI, that's very bright at 300 nits and accurate in colors with 100% sRGB wide color gamut. On this version here, touch is also supported so you can interact with your content by just touching the display and interacting with it. With a three by two aspect ratio, it's become one of my favorite aspect ratio for media consumption and editing content and just being more productive with more screen real estate to handle. And you have a 90% screen to body ratio, meaning this entire display is fully utilized with no compromise. The 2020 MateBook 14 also sounds amazing with a dual 2 watt speaker setup. Elsewhere, we have that recessed camera, like I said earlier, that can be hidden just by pressing it down or tapping it again to pop it back up. The trackpad has also been updated with an added functionality as well. So before, the Huawei Share tag was done by tapping on the side of the trackpad, so to the right of the trackpad. But right now, you can now tap on that trackpad itself where it's now embedded. Before, you would need to tap your Huawei smartphone on the right side of your device in order to activate Huawei Share. But the Huawei Share tag is now integrated in the trackpad, so all you have to do is tap, tap your phone on the trackpad and it's good to go. For ports, the 2020 Huawei MateBook 14 features a respectable array of port options, especially for an ultra portable notebook. With two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, you have a full functioning USB-C, you have 3.5 mil audio jack, and the HDMI ports as well, a full HDMI port. It's everything that you need to connect different peripherals to your Huawei MateBook 14. So whether it's you're connecting it to an external display or you wanna connect it to your favorite device that you already have, it's ready for that as well. When it comes to performance, the 2020 Huawei MateBook 14 is no slacker either. It features AMD's Ryzen 4000H series processor coupled with up to 16 gig of RAM, so that's DDR4 RAM. You have 512 gig of SSD storage here, there's another version with a 256 gigabytes as well. Throwing PC Mark 10 and Cinebench benchmarking tools produce some excellent results, meaning in the real world, you can game comfortably to the level of Forza Horizon 4 or even uh, Call of Duty that you can see me playing here. You can also edit your photos comfortably in Lightroom like I've been doing, like I always do, and while staying cool under pressure as well, thanks to Huawei Shark Fin fans that produces better airflow and a set of six sensors spread throughout to monitor the thermos allowing the system to dynamically scale fan speed for optimal cooling and to ensure silent operations. There are two preset power profiles as well that you can do. So now by pressing that function key and P at the same time, you can switch between standard and performance modes to handle the task at hand. Performance is not just about the processor speeds here. There's also a 56 watt hour battery inside that lasts a day on a single charge and you can expect 10 hours of continuous 1080p video playback. And when you need to charge it back up, you have an ultra portable 65 watt USB-C charger in the box, giving you two and a half hours of use with just 15 minutes of charge. It also supports Huawei Supercharge, so a compatible Huawei smartphone can take advantage of that 65 watt USB-C charger without the need for carrying extra charger in your bag. One of my favorite things about the Huawei MateBook series is that Huawei Share and that ecosystem. So meaning your smartphone can communicate with your laptop, which is really good. It advances and encourages productivity on the go. Huawei Share features a bunch of tools to integrate your smartphone with your laptop so you can focus on one device, you can share files, you can collaborate, and it just encourages productivity. So what can you actually do? 
you have picture in picture and with this you can cast your smartphone screen to your 2020 MacBook 14 allowing you to fully control your Huawei smartphone from your laptop. You can now drag and drop files so images, documents and text from your smartphone to your notebook and vice versa. You can also drag images from one device to a productivity app open on the other device for a quick image insertion. So for example, if you were creating a PowerPoint file or presentation, you can just drag images from your smartphone that you've taken on the go or whatever. You can drag it into your slides without the need to do all the sending to, send to email or sending via WeTransfer or whatever you, where you do it currently. You can just do it directly from your phone using Huawei Share. You've also got clipboard sharing. So this allows you to copy text from one device and paste it on the other and it works seamlessly. You can also control your smartphone using PC peripheral. So if you have a mice connected to your laptop, for example, you can connect, uh, you can control your smartphone using that mice. You can also play media directly from your smartphone on the laptop and you can, you can share the same sound as well on your laptop. So you can take advantage of that two watt uh, stereo speaker. Through that multi screen sharing as well with uh, the MateBook 14, what you can also do is actually take advantage of the Android ecosystem on your smartphone on your laptop. So if you were to play Asphalt on your phone, you can play that directly on your laptop, which is pretty neat. It just means you have two ecosystems ready to go, so Android and Windows. On top of those features that I already use, that I love to use, there are two new functions that are quite neat as well, which I think you'd be interested in. You can now seamlessly edit files saved on your smartphone directly on your laptop. So for example, if you have files in your notepad, you can edit them on your laptop as if it's right there right there in front of you. It's pretty neat and it's, it's pretty sleek as well. Another cool function that's also new as well is you can answer video calls and phone calls that's coming through on your smartphone on your laptop. So with this, if there's a video call coming through on your smartphone, you can just pop up that recess camera on your laptop and use that as your webcam instead and just seamlessly answer phone calls and video calls on your laptop, which is pretty neat if you ask me. So here is the 2020 Huawei MateBook 14 actually for. The 2020 MateBook 14 is an excellent laptop. It's a show of technology craftsmanship from Huawei. Uh, when it comes to the design, functionality and performance, it's just perfect. If you're a student or a creative professional looking for a powerful but affordable tool for coding, editing photos efficiently, then this is perfect for you. It's a great tool for increasing your productivity and if you're already using a Huawei smartphone with NFC and EMUI 10.1 or later, it's also a perfect companion for boosting productivity on the move. The 2020 Huawei MateBook 14 starts from $749.99 for the Ryzen 5 8GB RAM and 256GB internal storage version and £949.99 for the Ryzen 7 with 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage, exactly this one in front of us in space grey. For the latest offers, when and where to buy from, please check the description area for more information. So that's it for the 2020 Huawei MateBook. 14. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below as always. If you have any questions, drop them there as well. And as always, all links will be in the description area, so do check it out. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. So you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video up on the channel. See you in the next one.